Yo, what is going on everybody? Polartron here, back with another reaction video. And today, I'm going to be checking out another exciting Spongebob Conspiracy by Alex Bale. This one is called The Squillium Theory. Now, this is going to be a very, very good theory, man. Squillium seems kind of fishy by, you know, like, he... I don't know what the reason behind him showing off to Squidward is, but today we're about to find out why he wants to show off to Squidward, what's his truth, what's his past life like, and this is going to be very cool. Very excited about this. These conspiracy theories are just awesome, and they tell me a lot about the TV show and what the showrunners are hiding. But yeah, this is going to be Spongebob Conspiracy number one. I reacted to the Neptune theory. It's I think it's number five. And a lot of you guys loved it. You guys requested me for this one. So yeah, I really want to check this out, man. This is going to be an exciting theory. But yeah, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to never miss another video. And we're starting right now. Squilliam Fancy okay. Son. Squilliam Fancy Son. Squilliam Fancy Son. Squilliam Fancy Son the third is Squidward's rival from high school band class. So I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my okay. private heliport. He's more wealthy, popular, and talented than Squidward, and he always rubs it in his face. That's right. I'm living your dream, Squidward. Oh, just succeeding in everything you failed in. But I intend to Man. prove that he's a fraud, That's using tough. his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. He goes to ridiculously extreme and expensive lengths to humiliate Squidward and show his superiority, and I'm gonna prove it. Spongebob is one of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. I love it too. Think it's just a kid's show. There's no continuity. There's nothing worth theorizing about. There is. But the show constantly brings back Bubble characters Buddy? and references to previous episodes. Smitty, and Wormy. if you look closely, you can connect the dots and find some very oh. interesting stories. And today, I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fancyson III is a manipulative fraud. Evidence number one, okay. the pet hospital. We first meet Squilliam in Season 2, Episode 15, Band Geeks. The episode opens I just love this episode, man. All-time favorite. All -time favorite. A knock on the door. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately after, Squidward gets a call from Squilliam. Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the... Sounds as though you've got a dying animal to attend to. What? Wait. The paramedics and the doctor said the same exact thing. That they're from a pet hospital down the street. And they hear a dying animal. Right then, Squilliam made a phone call to Squidward and says, You sound like you have a dying animal. What? Yo. There's no way this is a coincidence. They actually knew about this. I think I have a feeling that Squilliam is part of the paramedics. Like, they're in this game hey, where they're going to I believe that not only was Squilliam Squidward. spying on Squidward to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. What? Yeah, uh, we're with yeah. the pet hospital down the street. Pet hospital down the street. We have never seen a pet hospital in Bikini mm -hmm. Bottom. We've only ever seen just the regular Bikini Bottom hospital. We've seen this purple doctor fish before, but once again, he's never worked at a pet hospital. We've only ever seen him at the regular general hospital. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. Are you ready I love for this your episode. treatment? Then there's this green fish behind him, and we've only ever seen him as one of the many identical paramedics mm -hmm. that work at the Bikini Bottom Hospital. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. So it is very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're from a pet hospital just to humiliate Squidward. But this yeah. is just the start yeah. of Squilliam's elaborate lies. Evidence number two, the bubble bowl. 
In the same episode, Squilliam also says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, and we're supposed to play the Bubble Bowl next week. The problem is, I'm busy next week and can't make it, so I was hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before, and despite claiming he's too busy to make it to the Bubble Bowl, he still shows up at the end to watch Squidward's band. So both his excuse and probably his band were made up to pressure Squidward into humiliating himself at the Bubble Bowl. Evidence number three, Squilliam's friends. In Season 3, Episode 8, Squilliam Returns, Squidward leaves for work and conveniently bumps into Squilliam and all of his fancy friends. He's doing this on Squilliam purpose. Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! You're a cashier! <laughs> Don't lie. Lying always makes it worse. But I believe that this encounter was planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all of those people to pretend to be his friends. Take a look at Squilliam's friends. They're all nicely dressed. You kind of get the sense that they're fancy, yeah, they look high rich. status members. But of they're identical. But they aren't. This is more like what the fancy rich people in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this. And most of them are regulars at the Krusty Krab and would already know Squidward as a cashier. Wait, Daddy doesn't have enough slime! <laughs> These are not the type of people Squilliam would hang out with. I mean, why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends? Well, because he's probably paying them to hang out with him, because there is no way that they're friends. Yeah, this makes so much sense. Squilliam probably paid these people to act like they're his friends. At the end of the episode, Squilliam even admits to his whole life being fake. I made everything up about my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was only trying to impress you. And then of course he quickly says he's just kidding. Is that true? Of course not! I felt they stinking rich! Wow. Wait, was he kidding? I mean obviously he's rich, so. but is there a nugget of truth in there? Evidence number four, the statue. In Season 7, Episode 6, Squidward has to pick up trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and he's reveals he's on him. cleaned up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean up Bikini Bottom, they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait! They've already built one. Of me! I cleaned up all what? Bikini Bottom in only one week. I believe that once again, this encounter was staged by Squilliam, and he actually paid to get that statue yeah. built. As Squilliam tells Squidward about the statue, a female fish admires it and says, Bless you, Squilliam, fancy sim. Bless you. But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likely paid. Oh, yeah. The whole comment feel very fake. By the end of the episode, Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches and they have this exchange. This is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits that it's his statue, not the city's. And why else would the officer give him specifically because it's his. if it was city property? Evidence number five, the concert. In season six, episode 17, Squidward watches Squilliam play the clarinet at a big fancy concert. He receives a standing ovation, causing Squidward to leave angrily. But I believe this entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been paid to cheer, but Squilliam never even touches his instrument. What? Once again, many of the audience members were part of Squilliam's yeah. quote-unquote friends. But we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The episode opens right after he's That's... finished his performance with the audience cheering, and one member of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant. Maybe the real reason Squibber leaves so angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched mm -hmm, his clarinet. Makes sense. Maybe Squilliam is just as bad as Squidward at the clarinet and he's trying to hide it. Squilliam has gone to some pretty extreme lengths just to humiliate Squidward, but nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to what he does next. Evidence number six, the music college. In the same episode, after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college. Okay. Aren't you the esteemed Squilliam Fancyson the third, who we all came here to see perform tonight? She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam and teaches a class, only for the police to burst in and arrest he him, have that all while he's being filmed on live TV. And I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally.
This encounter where Squidward gets offered a job is already suspiciously convenient, but listen closely to their exchange. I'm Squilliam Fancy Sam. But didn't you just say a minute ago? But wh what about the unibrow? He clearly has a unibrow and Squidward doesn't. Why would she mistake him for Squilliam? That just, that doesn't make sense. Because they both look very different. Like, first of all, they wear the different, different clothing. Second of all, they, he doesn't have the unibrow. And, you know, like, if two humans stand close to each other, you're going to know the difference. Like, this, this guy, Tom, is not Fred. Tom and Fred just look very different. They're not. They're humans, yeah. But that does not mean that they look the same. And she's doing the same thing. Just because there's two squids does not mean that they're the same people. Like, I'm sure they look slightly different. Like, the different clothing and the unibrow is something distinct about Squilliam, Fancy Son. She should, she knows, I think she knows from inside. She's just trying to frame Squidward and she's probably paid by Squilliam to do all of this. Go that your name was Squidward Q Tentacles. It is. No, I mean, uh, no, no, I didn't. Well, that's a relief. I mean, she's what an kind idiot. Of moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital. What kind of what? moron would go to their own enemy's music recital? How does she know that Squidward and Squilliam are enemies? If she knew who Squidward was, then why didn't she recognize him? Why would she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels way too much like she was hired by Squilliam to set a trap for Squidward. And if that's not enough, the headmistress's associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Oh! Squilliam knew that Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very own music class. Then we get to the, the Bikini says... Bottom prestigious music college, and right off the bat, there's something very fishy about this place. The building itself is very green and grimy. It doesn't look and like a, a music college. Metal look. Nothing about this says prestigious, except for the big sign on top, which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there is a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse, then stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. I mean, look at these other schools in Bikini Bottom. They all have a very nice structure exactly. and a paint job, but this prestigious music college looks like a dumpster. Going into the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, how did SpongeBob and Patrick get in here? Would you two yeah, they're not that smart. Mind telling me what you're doing in music class anyway? Sure. Patrick's New Year's resolution was to learn to play an instrument. They say it was their New Year's resolution to take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it on a whim. Seems like they're just letting in anyone to sell this ruse. Then, yeah. both the police, Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the same time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squilliam. If the extremely coincidental fact oh. that all these people suddenly showed up at the same time isn't enough for you to believe that Squilliam set it all up, I've got something that's going to blow your mind. Squilliam literally has the police oh, working for him. What? Squidward Chew Tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. He's the that paid audience. Like he's been paid off. I don't know what does. The lengths that Squilliam goes to humiliate wow. Squidward are insane. He literally builds statues and entire buildings just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Why would anyone go so far to embarrass an old high school band classmate? What happened between them? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? Well, unfortunately, we never really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the SpongeBob Wikipedia and looking at old episodes, and there really just isn't any clues that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Wait a second. Oh, wait. It's not the wait end. Wait a second. Season 6, Episode 5, Slide Whistle Stooges. Just a normal episode where SpongeBob and Patrick annoy Squidward. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Except I have one question about this episode. Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? What? That is clearly not the purple robe he usually wears. That is Squilliam That's Fancy Son exactly the Third's robe. His robe. Why would Squidward have this? Unless they were more than just classmates. Could they have once been dating? No way. That's not possible. There's, there's no evidence to support that. Right?
Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Try to imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! What? Yo, this no. sounds so real. Really? I mean, what kind of a moron would go to this their worst enemy? This makes a lot of sense. Inside. It's been right in front of us this whole time. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at Makeout Reef. Ah, uh, Makeout Reef. Good time. Good time. Voted most likely to. That's Squidward. Eggs in high school. Holy shit! Yeah, but that is Spongebob conspiracy number one, the Squilliam theory. I think this was just an amazing theory. And you know, it it was very shocking. It just started off like a little, uh, you know, started off a little serious and then it went serious and then it was like, boom. It was like, like a rocket ship, man. It was just so serious. The level of seriousness it was like, Man, and then the end, they were dating. Man, that is that is very, very scary because they probably broke up and now they hate each other. Because, like, you know, when you break up with someone, you probably start hating them, and it makes a lot of sense because you know, it, I don't know, man, they're both squids, so it does make sense if they both are dating. But yeah, so my favorite, my favorite part, uh, was, you know, the part when he got framed, no, not framed, uh, he got in trouble for impersonating Squilliam. That was just, that was just very weird. The police officer was a paid audience, man. That was just crazy. If it wasn't crazy, tell me what, tell me what else is crazy, man. And I also liked the part where uh, that lady with the glasses mistaked Squidward as Squilliam. That doesn't make sense. I don't know how, like, how she gets away from being so dumb. Because, man, obviously she's doing it on purpose. She's not dumb. She knows everything. She's just acting dumb because she wants Squilliam to get Squidward arrested. And he did get arrested. And yeah, this is the Squilliam theory, one of the greatest theories, man. Gets a big thumbs up from me. And if I had to rate this out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Very good video. I just loved it a lot. But yeah, this is the theory. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.